Hello, folks. It's Pastor Singer, the Blue Collar Preacher. I'd like, to, first of all, it's Memorial Day weekend. I want to thank our servicemen and women who died for my country to give me the freedom and the liberties to preach the gospel and to live the American dream. We're getting ready to build our rack for the old oven here. This is one inch conduit, electric conduit. I paid about $70 for 10 sticks for Home Depot. Now we're going to get ready to cut it all in length, the old chops off. We're going to do some other stuff, and I'll show you how I'm going to build my rack out of pipe versus angle iron. It's a lot cheaper, and I think will be all a lot better to use. Now remember, I made this thing tall enough because I want to be able to burn some bumpers in here, or motorcycle frames. Uh, our total height, I got to remember, I got my probe up here. We can't go any taller than the probe. We're 87 inches to the probe. And we can't go any deeper than 2 feet. Uh, and then, I mean, longer than 2 feet, and then our racks. This way, it's 40 inches, so I want to give about an inch each way. So, inch, inch, bring it down to 38. 38 wide, give myself an inch back. Well, I got my lights, so just have to watch out for those. 21, 38 by 21. And I'm going to give myself four inches here because I'm doing something different at the bottom. So, seven feet. I'm going to make this thing seven feet tall. 21 inches deep by 38 inches wide. Get ready to cut out my pieces. And my vertical poles are just going to be right at seven feet tall. So, cut them all seven foot exactly. Okay, got my trusty old piece of styrofoam for the old knees getting old. Gloves, earphones, and glasses. Had to take the heat gun and take some stickers off. We don't want them burning up in the oven. Like I said, this thing's going to be 38 inches wide. From outside to outside, this is one inch conduit, so our inside piece has got to be 36 inches, which is what I cut off the seven foot pieces, so they'll work out just fine. Now, over here, up against the old brake, I'm going to take all my pieces. have to mark, push it tight, mark here and here while it's still there. Meaning you want two marks exactly in the same way. I'm just using my brake to push them up against. Come up with those lines. Working them a little bit. Dry enough here. About an inch and a half. Lines got to be about an inch and a half long. Okay, I have my tri square set at one inch here. There's a reason for that. Kind of making a like a little cross there. There's a reason for that, I'll show you in a bit. I get to all pieces that get well. Okay, as you can see, I 
put a piece of masking tape on here so I can see and I can show you, but I put a mark right here on my vise. Now what I'm going to do next, stick these in here, right on that mark, I'm going to line them two marks up and go right to the where I left my one inch mark, that way when I squeeze this together, it'll be exactly in the same spot. Each pipe is going to be squished in the same same area. Just snug it up and I'll put my torpedo on there. Level it up a little bit. Just squish that thing down. Might be a cheater. Cheater. The old cheater on there. You might have a bigger vise to make this job easier. trying to do is just flatten that out so you can get a weld up against it to the other pipe. Maybe crimp it down a little more towards the bottom. Just like that. Got to be flat so when you butt it up against another pipe you can weld it easy. Granddaughter Sierra, say hi. She's my helper today. Okay. Now, see those marks right there? Take my tri square again, marked one inch in. I just ran the same mark top and bottom I just use the seam you can do that instead of the brake if you have to but I'm lining up my one inch mark and my mark that I made for the vise along with a mark from the seam we're just gonna weld that tack it for now tack tack and then weld her up okay guys got all my pieces. I got 16 of them. Got eight for each side. Uh, one inch is really tough. Might want to go to three quarter. I don't know. I plan on doing some heavy duty bumpers, but ruined two vices doing this. I ended up having to smash them on an anvil and then finishing it up with a little vice. But uh, yeah, ruined one good American one and one bad imported in one or two. Anyways, gotta have those. We're getting ready to weld them in next. Okay, this is my rack system. I'm getting ready to put in. I'm gonna put these at 12 inch on centers all the way up on both sides, top, uh, uh, left and right. Uh, getting ready to lay it out and put those in. Gotta have a cross brace here. To help, it's kind of like a truss uh, to help hold everything straight. So, uh, I'm going to put a wheel system down there so I can wheel it in and out of the oven. Well, here's the rack so far. So, I've got these every 12 inches. Now, I'm going to build some things that are adjustable up and down to hang stuff on. And, uh, Next. Okay, these six pipes here, my crossbars were inside the rack. Had to rest it on a piece of quarter inch angle there, just so I can get these centered right. I'm gonna weld them in there, and I'm gonna bend these into a U shape to 
go on them one foot bars that I put inside the rack. I made a temporary jig to stick in there. Now you don't want to weld these all the way around. Uh, I just put a spot weld. Let me grab one here. Just a little weld on each side. You want to be able to bend it. So you don't want to weld it all the way around. But, uh, anyways. That way it'll hook inside the other rack system. Now that I've got them bent, I can go ahead and put another more weld around there. Just didn't want to put it weld all the way because it bends away from the pipe. It ain't going to need all that weld. It ain't going to hold that much weight, but I am going to finish welding across the bottoms here. Okay, I made these uh, rails. Every these are every one foot, so you can take these apart, down whatever height you need, and also set oven racks on there, hang stuff on. Whatever you got to do, you could actually even put these in the center. You have to put something in the center to hang it on, but. Uh, I got six of them. Probably by me talking, always make more. But uh, for now, we're just going with six and uh, getting ready to do the, the wheels and track system at the bottom next. Got all the frame done, all the rails done. I got tons of these my buddy's using. I could use. So got an inch clearance little over an inch of clearance on each side of the, the burners so they ain't touching nothing. And uh, like I said, just getting ready to uh, do the bottom section next.